Hello! Today I'm here to talk to you about the IFTTT service. This is a service that you can sign up for online, which allows you to implement a number of different if-then procedures, called recipes, within your various online products and apps that you use on a daily basis. The genius behind this service is that it allows you to automate the most common requests and actions that you take within your various products in order to create a smoother experience that you don't even have to actively maintain. So let's get started. If you're not already there, head to ifttt.com. Now, if you don't already have an account, you're going to need to click on this sign up link up here. Just enter your email address and a password and then click on create account. This little tutorial is just giving you a brief idea of how the service works. And then you'll be asked to select three channels that interest you so the service can suggest recipes. So to start with one of my favorites, I'm going to suggest weather, then Gmail, and I'll also select drive, which we'll get to in a minute. Now to show you how to add a recipe, I'm going to use the simple example of the if it's going to rain tomorrow, then send me an email recipe. Which means if the forecast predicts rain for a given day, I'll get an email warning that I'm about to get soggy. Just click on the recipe and then connect it to your channels. Click connect and select your city to connect to the weather channel. Then connect your email address by allowing IFTTT to access your Gmail. Now I don't think the forecast is for rain today, so this will be difficult to test. But you can set your weather condition, specify your email address, and then click add to make your recipe active. Now I want to show you two more recipes that I like for automating common processes that I typically do anyway. First, let's click on browse, and then select the save new email attachments to Google Drive. This will automatically place attachments that I'm emailed into a specified drive folder. We set it up just like before, adding and connecting the recipe. An important note here is that this recipe won't create this drive folder automatically, so you'll either have to point it to an existing folder or create this folder, which is what I did. Now when I flip over to Gmail, you can see I've been sent an email with an image attachment. When I flip into my drive account instead, you can see it has automatically uploaded to the folder specified in the recipe. Finally, head back to IFTTT and search for receipts. I like the add receipts, orders, and invoices to a Google Drive spreadsheet recipe. Again, take note of the drive folder path and either create that folder or point it to an existing one. Add the recipe, and as you can see, whenever an email with a subject that includes receipt, order, or invoice is delivered to our email, the data from that email will be pulled into a spreadsheet. It's not always the neatest format, as you can see here, but it does consolidate all information of this type into one location, which is really handy. There are countless other recipes for you to explore, but hopefully this gets you started finding out all the ways that IFTTT can help you automate your online life. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day!